South Korea desperate for Donald Trump warning ahead of strike on North Korea Chu Mie, who is chairwoman of South Korea's ruling party, warned that the U.S. president must consult with her government in Seoul before any military action was taken against their unruly neighbors. Speaking in Washington, D.C., Ms. Chu said that a peaceful resolution must continue to be sought. She said, President Trump often emphasizes that he put all options on the table. We want to make sure that this option of another war is not placed on the table. There are fears that if the U.S. was to use its military force on North Korea, the corrupt regime may retaliate with an attack on the South. Reinforcing her point, Ms. Chu added, under no circumstances should the U.S. go ahead and use a military option without the consent of South Korea. Mr. Trump visited South Korea earlier this month as part of a two-week-long tour of Asia. Addressing South Korea's National Assembly last Wednesday, Mr. Trump insisted that the U.S. would not be intimidated by Kim Jong-un's rhetoric and called for other countries to respond to the twisted regime's threats with a sign of military force. He also warned the three largest aircraft carriers in the world are appropriately positioned to face Pyongyang. Prior to his intervention in South Korea, Mr. Trump had previously suggested he was ready to use the U.S. military to attack the rogue country. At the start of last month, he said his Secretary of State's efforts to negotiate with North Korea were a waste of time. On Twitter, he said, I told Rex Tillerson, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. Save your energy Rex, we'll do what has to be done. Being nice to 